Եսօրվա բատկամը գուկա վերաբադվելի ջանըթն դոքտորյանեն ռամ է եղբար բերորդն է իր խոսկը։ That was weird, right? ժամանակը առնելով, արդնալով, թեմ գել է, տարույնակ էր գսեր չէ։ I was kidding, by the way. Մասնավոր գնեի։ But it almost seemed like I didn't even care. Ատբես մգտվեր, որ տարպերութեր չեր ներ ինձի համար, թեմ գել եմ, կարոզ եմ։ Like I had more important things to do. Ավելի կարևոր պաներ գարձես ունեի են Um, I was just asked to preach here, so I said, yes, I have to be here. But that's not the case. Kidding. Today, I wanted to talk about urgency. Not necessarily just urgency in general, but specifically in the kingdom of God. Urgency shows that you start, you're, you're caring about whatever you're doing. If we can switch to the uh, VGA2. Um, Urgency is not the same as rushing. So, yeah, I was slow coming up, but it's not the same as me rushing through stuff. Uh, if you rush through things, you can end up being careless. Urgency is better described as prioritizing. If you're showing urgency, you're prioritizing what's important in your life and specifically spiritually. Now thinking about urgency when I was preparing this, uh, uh, in my mind came the term triaging. It's good you heard the explanation. We're going to hear it twice. I have it also prepared. But triaging, it came up a lot when I work too. I work with computers, and when I go through my queue of computers I need to repair, I triage what's more important, what prioritize, what can be fixed immediately, and what needs to take some time. And triaging initially came to, uh, came to this idea by this gentleman named Dominique Jean Larry. He, he was a medical officer in Napoleon's army. And he was, he was way ahead of his time. His idea was when people get injured, because the way it was before, when somebody gets hurt in a battle, they're left until the battle's over. Then you start carrying everyone that's injured and who's not dead and start helping them. But, but Dominique, being a doctor, a physician, knew that 
people needed immediate help, and there could be people saved if they were just shown attention as soon as the injury had happened. He started by creating something called the flying ambulance, which was a horse-drawn carriage that would find people that are injured, throw them in, and take them directly to uh, their uh, facility for help. And then he also came up with the idea of triaging individuals. He divided them into three different groups. Now, a triage, the word is a French word. It comes from tria, which means to sift or to separate. So you're separating into groups. The first group was those who would live if help was received. The second group is those who were going to die regardless of the help they would receive. And the third one was the most important one, those who would receive help would receive improvement if help was immediate. And his triaging would never be changed by the person's nationality or the rank. It was only divided based on the injuries that person had received. Creating that urgency in Larry's life, it made it very possible for him to save many lives. So in a Christian life, urgency is as important, if not more. So, so we're going to discuss three reasons why urgency should be in every Christian's life. We're also going to talk about what priorities a Christian is supposed to have. The first reason, the reason that urgency is so important in a Christian's life is because Christ and the disciples both taught it. At Matthew 4.17, we just finished with chapter 3, which Jesus had been baptized by John, his actions were approved by God, his spirit, his mind, his body was tested in the desert, and Matthew, just like an introduction to a sermon, talks about how Jesus stated these few words. Uh, the translation I have is, for the kingdom of God is at hand, or some of you might read, is near. Now there's two important things that we read from this. Uh, the, the first one talks about uh, the kingdom of God. Matthew makes a very big point about the kingdom of God. He's actually the only uh, um, gospel that really writes about it the most. If you've been in our Sunday school for the past couple weeks, you've been hearing that. We've been talking about Matthew and how the kingdom of God is so important to him 
and to presenting it to everyone that reads his gospel. The Jews were expecting another type of kingdom. Theirs was a physical one, but Christ came with the kingdom of God, or you'll hear kingdom of heaven. So Christ's teachings following this are all directed towards teaching people what it means to be the, in the kingdom of God and what to wait for for the kingdom of God. The final idea is at hand or is near is also extremely important. Over, over a year ago, we learned from Pastor Johnny in a sermon that the kingdom of God being near is not only time, that it's coming closer, but that it's a proximity. It's around us right now. It's here. Pastor Johnny, in the Mega we Christ's words are expected to be an action taken now, not in the future. So Christ is telling us this is the way the kingdom of God is. Start living that way. Now Christ, I mean, he's God, so he kind of he knows a lot more than people would in this situation. Christos astvads naev lalov hider in chosaza ir karozaza manavan ashnuti mas. But when the apostles taught exactly the same way, it showed value in the way that they were teaching to the point of death. Vremen yer ashagert nernal nuin panera sorvetsutsin havadalov sorvetsutsin. This morning we read from Acts during our singing of the, the conclusion to Peter's sermon, the first sermon that was uh, recorded in the book of Acts. When he finished the sermon, the people were uh, kind of taken back. They didn't know what to do. They were asking, what do we do now? Peter's urgency was in the right place that he immediately told them, now is the time to repent, be baptized, and get this life going. <coughs> There's a famous evangelist that lived in the 1800s uh, named D.L. Moody. And on his deathbed, he talked about one of the biggest regrets that he ever had. He was preaching at a church in Chicago on October 8, 1871. If you know the date, don't give it away to your neighbors. Let me finish the story. He was, yeah. he was speaking to one of the largest congregants that he had spoken to up until his preaching career, I guess. <clears throat> and he was preaching on uh, the verse Matthew 27, 22. Which was Pilate's response, what shall I do then with Jesus, which is called Christ? So he's finishing his sermon. At the conclusion, he says this. <clears throat> I wish you take this home. Uh, I wish you would take this text home with you and turn it over in your minds during the week, 
Next Sabbath, we will come to Calvary and the cross and we will decide what to do with Jesus the Nazareth. Just like any other sermon, the sermon ends, the music begins, everybody's singing to go home. And outside the doors, they start hearing fire engines. Before morning of the next day, about 40% of Chicago was burnt to the ground. It was called the Great Chicago Fire on October 9th, 1871. Moody responded by saying these words. I have never since dared to give an audience a week to think of their salvation. If they were lost, they might rise up in judgment against me. I have never seen that congregation since. I will never meet those people again until I meet them in another world. And he finishes that whenever he preaches Christ, he preaches to immediately change and that he would rather give his right arm away than to give somebody long time to think about this. Jesus and the disciples, the apostles, all taught how important urgency is in the life of a Christian. The second reason is for our own sake. When everything ends, we're going to be in the presence of God. We learned a couple months ago from the book of Habakkuk that God does not like evil in his presence. We saw what he did to the evil in Habakkuk. We know what he's going to do to the rest of evil through the rest of the Bible. This, this means that we need to live a life right now that's pleasing to him. If you kept on reading from Matthew 4 and saw what it started with, Matthew talks about what Christ expects out of every Christian. We learned about these last week. So these are things that are not suggestions. They are actual characteristics we're supposed to have. This is what a Christian will look like in the kingdom of God. The response of reading this morning was from Galatians 5. Paul points out that you're not supposed to indulge the flesh. You're supposed to indulge the spirit. And then he lists the fruit of the spirit. Love. Joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Paul also talked about how we're supposed to act with each other. This leads us to the third point. 
եւ ասիի գարաշնորտե մեզի երրորդ գետին So the first reason that we were supposed to be urgent is because Christ and the apostles all taught it. Որեմն առաջին պատճառը ինչ ու այս կյանքը անհրաժեշտ ամիջական փամն է, քանի որ Հիսուս աշակերտները, արաքյալները սորվեցին։ The second reason is we're going to be in the presence of God. It is our for our own sake that we need to be living urgently. Եկրորդնալ ինչ ու ասպես կարևոր է, քանի մենք ալ աստծո ներկայության մեջ պետք է լանք, ուրեմն ասի մեզի կարևոր է ապես լալը։ We also saw an urgent person is supposed to pursue these things. Եվ անհրաժեշտ անչափ կարևոր է, որ քրիստոնյան այս փաներուն բդուղին յեդևեն պետք է լա։ Not as a suggestion, but this is what you're going to look like. Ոչ թե քեզի ցկված, եթե գուզես ապես ռե, բայց իբր պատվերմն է ադանք պետք է ապրինք։ So the final reason Վերջին պատճառը to have urgency in the life of a Christian. Քրիստոնյային դյանքի մեջ այս ամիջականությունը ապրելու ըլլալ is because we're going to affect many people in our life. Քանի որ մենք ալ պատճառը դիտելանք կամ աստեցությունը դիտի ունենանք շատերու որ մեր դյանքին մեջն են. Starting within the church, we're going to affect all of us each other. Եկեղեցիեն սկսյալ, մենք աստեցությունը դիտի ունենանք մեր 4 կոմիներուն վրա Paul states in Galatians 5 that if you want to prevent destruction from coming you must live in love in humble love with each other Ուրեմն քահադացիսի մեջ կսորվեցնե ու եթե գործանումը չեն կուզեր որ քա ուրեմն սիրո խոնարության մեջ պետք է ապրինք իրարու հետ But it's also going to affect people when we go outside those doors Եվ այս թրներեն ալ երբ դուրս երթանք մեր ցանկը պիտի դարբերություն է ուրիշներուն ցանկերում է I'm sure we've all heard that you only have one chance to make a first impression Լսած ենք կարելի է մեկ արիթ ունիս մեկումը վրա առաջին աստե դբավորություն ցկելու առաջին արիթը This remains completely true when you're talking about the urgency in the kingdom of God Ասի իրական է նաև մեր ցանկին հոգևոր ցանկի մեջ երբ որ Աստո թակավորության գարևորության մասին կխոսի։ When we're waiting for a bus at the bus stop. Եթե գեցած ենք ավտոբուսը կսպասենք գայարանը։ We're at a restaurant. Ճաշարանի մեջ կգտնվինք։ You're walking to your car outside. Դուրսը թե մի օթո դգալես։ There's going to be so many opportunities of you making a first impression and if people know that you're a Christian they're going to tie the two together. Ռեմեն առաջին դբավորություն ցկել մարդոց վրա շատ արիթներ կա։ Եվ պիտի քիտնան շատ անգամներ եթե քրիստոնյա ես։ It's important that we are ready for each opportunity just like Moody had talked about. Եվ կարևոր է որ մենք պատրաստ լանք, այդ հոգին մեջ լանք, ամեն արիթ որ մեր ցանկի մեջ կուկա։ So Christians not Christians but what about those people that have no idea they're on in the middle they're confused about which direction to go. Ոչ թե միայն քրիստոնյաներ ունեն այդ հապա ուրիշներ ալ որ վստահ չեն ցանկի մեջ շվարաձեն թե մի ուր գերթան չեն գիտեր Couple weeks ago we learned that we are all responsible for each other's spiritual growth spiritual life Մի քանի շապատներ առաջ նորեն պատկամի մեջ սորվեցանք որ ամեն մեգս բարդականություն ունինք պատասխանատվություն ունինք թիմացինին հոգևոր ցանկին վիճակին վրա Each one of us that are fathers each one of us that are mothers each one of us everybody is being watched by each other and we're watching because we're learning from you what the life of a christian is supposed to be ամե մեգս զիրար գտիտենք իբր հայրեր իբր մայրեր եթե ենք մեր զավակները մեր 4 կողմիները իբր քրիստոնյա ինչ ըլլալ ինչ կնշանակ է զիրար գտիտենք I remember when I was younger I would always complain my mom and dad were too strict երբ զդիգեի միշտ գարարգեի որ իմ մայրս եւ հայրս շատ խիստ էի Uh, I was talking with one of my cousins uh, this week and we remembered a time when I wanted to go white water rafting with with them. Եվ քազաներս մեկ ունեն դու խոսեին կի հիշեմ ժամանակ մգսե կպատմե որ պիտի երթայի եւ վդանկավոր քեդին վրա խաղեր պիտի խաղալ. And they were they were they were telling me to call my dad so that I can, we can know can, I'm like no I'm not going to call I know he's going to say no there's no reason to call. Եվ սին որ փարեգամներս ինձի հորը հերացային է հրաման առնելու So I finally gave in. I said, "Okay, I'll call." It was the night before. We're supposed to go at four in the morning. So it was the night before, around eight, nine o'clock. So we're supposed to go at four in the morning. So it was the night before, around eight, nine o'clock. So we're supposed to go at four in the morning. So it was the night before, around eight, nine o'clock. So we're supposed to go at four in the morning. So it was the night before, around eight, nine o'clock. So we're supposed to go at four in the morning. So it was the night before, around eight, nine o'clock. So we're supposed to go at four in the morning. So it was the night before, around eight, nine o'clock. So we're supposed to go at four in the morning. So it was the night before, around eight, nine o'clock. So we're supposed to go at four in the morning. So it was the night before, around eight, nine o'clock. So we're supposed to go at four in the morning. So it was the night before, around eight, nine o'clock. So we're supposed to go at four in the morning. So it was the night before, around eight, nine o'clock. So we're supposed to go at four in the morning. So it was the night before, around e
exactly say what I was doing. If, in my mind, if I said, I'm going to go white water rafting at four in the morning, I knew that it would have sealed the deal. No, hang up, you're coming home. So I kind of eased into it. I said, Dad, we're just going paddling. Now beat Yeah. So it, it ended up that he did eventually let me go. <coughs> but it's easy for those memories to be stuck in it. Oh, my parents were too strict. I, that, that's what the impression comes on it, and that's that's I that's what I remember. But more than that, what has actually molded me into the person that I am today is the fact that I remember when he was reading his Bible when he was praying, when he was thinking and talking about the church, everything directed towards a life that is spiritual. We all have that opportunity. Even if you're single, you're not old enough, you're too old, you all have an opportunity to make that type of an impact on everybody that's in here right now. Ուրեմն դարբերություններ դարիքդ ինչ որ է, ուր որ թրված ես, դբավորություն գցքես մարդոց որ քու 4 կողմը։ You are being watched by everybody that's going through those thoughts of does God exist? What proof is there? What should I do? Intellectual arguments, all this is going through your mind. This is the opportunity for you. Մեզեր բզդիկներ, երտասարդներ, փոլոր գծի դենք, եզի անցիկ, որ տագավին իրենց մտքի մեջ հարցումներ գա, աստված քոյություն ունի, կյանքը իրագան է, աբակագա, մարդիկ կեզի գնային խոսածները կյանքը պեծի։ And although urgency starts to feel like a sacrifice that you're giving up too much, it, it actually turns into a very easy decision to make. Եվ Եթե նույնիսկ խորինք ամիջականություն աս անռաժեշտությունը հոգևոր կյանքի շատ մը զոհողություններ կգագնգալ է մեզ մե ապես չէ իրական կարևոր կյանք մնե ապրելու When you start prioritizing these in your life these characteristics that you're supposed to have as a Christian it's it's second nature for you to start focusing on what's important Եթե նախապատվությունը գտնես այս հոգևոր նկարակրական գետերը կու կյանքի մեջ so let me go back to the story of Dominique. I don't know if you put two and two together, but he was a part of Napoleon's army. We're not French right now, so you know that he lost. However, in the final battle that Napoleon had, the, he was fighting the Prussians, the Prussian general noticed Dominique and what he was doing on the battlefield. He saw he was helping both sides. It didn't matter who was in front of him. He was helping everyone he could. He was prioritizing who could be helped, who could not be helped. And so first, he ordered his men to not shoot in Dominique's direction. After that battle was over and they lost, Dominique was still captured and taken for trial. He didn't die from the battle because nobody was shooting at him, but then he went to trial and in trial he was sentenced to death. However, people noticed who he was, and everybody in that courtroom stood up against the decision and had Dominique pardoned, saved. 
Inca Bekchemerni. He ended up living 30 more years and started writing journals about what he was doing and medical journals and he lived his life out as a civilian doctor. Եվ 30 տարի եւս աբրեցավ քիրքեր կրեց այս ինչ որ ինք գներ մարդոց վիրավորված հոգտանելու։ So that urgency that priority that he had put not only saved many other people's lives it saved his individual life as well. Որ ամեն այդ անհրաժեշտությունը ամիջականությունը որ դրա մարդոց կյանքերը ազատելու համար իր ալ կյանքն ալ փրկվեց։ And now we're not just talking physically we're talking spiritually that if you have urgency in your life not only will you save your life you're going to save so many others lives as well. Եվան շուշտի մա ոչ թե ֆիզիկական կյանքի մարմնի համար կխոսինք այս օրվանը հոգևոր կյանքի համար եթե այդ անհրաժեշտությունը ունի հոգևոր կյանքը ապրելու ամիջական ուրիշներու ալ կյանքեր ունալ հոգևոր ապես օկտագար գրնասնալ։ So because I don't want DL Moody to turn in his grave. Եվ քանի որ չեմ ուզեր DL Moody-ն ալ քեշ ուսկա։ Everybody close your eyes. Մեր աչքերը կոցենք։ If you are a Christian today and you feel you don't have urgency in your life. Եթե քրիստոնյա ես այսօր, բայց այս հոգևոր կյանքին ամիջական անհրաժեշտության մասին չես խորիր։ It's a hard decision but it's absolutely the right one. Գնալ ալ դժվար որոշում է, բայց շիտակ որոշումն է, ամիջական բանն է ասի։ Please raise your hand so we can pray for you. Ձեր կարծրացու որ գնանք աղոթել քեզի համար։ It's important that with urgency that you'll be living you'll be living a life that Christ expects of you. Կարևորը որ սկանք որ այդ կյանքը հիմա ամիջապես ապրինք ինչ որ դերը մեզ մեկ ակնկալ է։ And if you're not a Christian yet and you're hearing this message right now. Եվ եթե քրիստոնյա չես տակավին, հոգևոր չես տակավին եւ այս պատկամը գլսես այսօր։ And you want to be a Christian. Եվ գուզես ապաշխարելով քրիստոնյա հա You want to start this journey towards the characteristics that God has described. Եվ սկսի այդ ճամփան նկարակիր ունենալ հոգևորին ինչ որ աստծո խոսքը գրել։ We're going to make it as simple as possible. Գիտի թյուրենց ենք այս արդյունք։ Either in your head, in your heart, whisper to yourself, you can yell it out, but repeat this prayer after me. Աղոթե այս աղոթքը, եթե սկրկնե։ Heavenly Father, Եկնավոր հայեր, I am a sinner. Մեղավոր եմ։ I confess confess every sin to you. Please forgive me. Nereinzi. In Jesus Christ's name I pray. Jesus Christos i anunov gavotem. Amen. Amen. Everyone can open your eyes. If you prayed or raised your hand, please let someone around you know. Yete agotetsir ait agotke gam mys agotke. Kovinere to teryagallan. If you didn't want to raise your hand, you didn't want to pray, that's fine. If you want to talk about it after we're all ready. Եթե ցերկը չվերցած չվերցուցիր, բայց պատրաստ է սկսելու ասոր համար։ Իրավե այդ խոսինք։ Don't wait till next week. Քալ շապտվա մի էս սпасեր որոշումի։ Don't wait till tomorrow. Վաղվա մի էս սпасեր։ Don't even wait till after Sunday school. Նույնիս կեսորվան Գիրակնորյան վերջ մի էս սпасեր։ Immediately make a decision. We need to talk and I am we are all ready to talk. Ամիջապես խոսելու պատրաստեն This is one of the most important decisions you can make Ամենա կարևոր որոշումներն է որ կրնաս առնել So remember to make it today Այսօր Տերոջ համար որոշումը տար Let's pray Աղոթենք Heavenly Father we thank you for the opportunity you've set aside Շնորհակալենք այս արիթին համար դեր For the time that we have so we can worship you without any worries Ժամանակը որ ունինք կրնանք քեզ բաշտել առանց մտահոգության without any cares առանց վախնալու դարփերփաները and heavenly father you've made it so easy for us to come to you եւ անչափ ցուցած ես հեշտացած ես որ քեզի քալը դրանք անել all we have to do is believe հավատալ եւ քեզի քալ we just have to believe and you will you are ready to already uh, forgive us of all our sins but drastes mer mehkere nerelu yer postovanink havadank to provide us with the holy spirit surpokin mezidalu to guide us in this life that we're living mez arashnortelu ais kyankin mech vor gabrink as we're going to learn in sunday school later on that we don't have to worry about anything else yev inch pes vidi sorvinkal giraknoriai mech phani ma hamar hokchnelu you're going to take care of every need that we have mer amen betkere gohokas so that all we have to do is want you Միայն մեր ունեցած ուզած ադե որ քեզ ուզենք 
Father, be, be with us and be with the people that made the decisions that they made today. Thankfully, you know everybody's heart. And it doesn't matter what we say from the outside or do from the outside, you know that in the heart they already started believing you. Guide us as we continue this day. Let us be ready to be the light wherever we go. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Amen.